So, number 2, the diagram on the right shows a plan of a swimming pool with uniform depth of 1.5 meter. So, we know that depth is equal to 1.5 meter. A, B, C, D is a rectangle with length of 12 meter and width of 8 meter. So, we see here this one is 12 and then this side is 8 meter. Okay. B, A, E, D and B, E, C are two sectors from a circle. So, we see here A, E, D here. This one is a sector. A, E, D and B, E, C. Right. Okay. Calculate the perimeter of the floor of the swimming pool. So, perimeter A. So, perimeter is equal to, you see here, A, B plus, so, R, B, C. So, R, B, C. I just write S plus this one is DC plus we are going to R D A O A D. So we see here we have AB, AB is 12, we have DC, DC is also 12, this one is 12, this one is 12, and you can see that R B C is equal to R A D. Why? Because the angle here is the same with here. So first to calculate the R, we know that S is equal to R. Theta. So we need to find what is the radius and we need to find what is the theta in radian to calculate the R. So first we are going to calculate the radius. So we see here the radius here is equal to AE. So, so to calculate the radius here, for example, if I take this triangle here, you see here, up here. So this one is 6 and the height here is 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then you can find AE by using Pythagoras theorem. So AE is equal to 6 square plus 4 square. So we get 7.211 meter. So here I get AE is equal to 7.211 meter. So here, another triangle here, AE here. So you see this side. So I have this triangle here. So this one is 90 degree. Okay, you see here, this is 90 degree. Let's take this triangle here where I know that. So the height here is 4 and this one is 6. So I can find the theta here. So this is theta here. So theta... So, to find theta, you can use Rigo. So, we have so, cha, toa. And we know that this theta, this is adjacent to the angle. And this is opposite to the angle. So, the one using A and O is tangent. So, we know that tangent theta is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So, opposite is 4, adjacent is 6. So, theta is equal to tangent inverse. So, this one can be simplify 2 over 3 so here we get 33 degree 41 minute so here theta is equal to 33 degree 41 minute since we have two theta for aed so here theta is equal to theta okay, theta 2 lah so this one is the larger one is theta 2 is equal to 2 times 33 degree 41 minute so here we get 67 degree 22 minute but then the theta needs to be in radian so theta in radian is equal to so degree convert to radian 67 degree 22 minute so we have to divide with 180 so this one would be 3.142 so the radian that we get is 1.176 radian So now we have that theta radian is equal to 1.176. So here S is equal to R theta R radian. So R radius is 7.211, 7.211 because we are calculating AED. So this is the radius. And then the radian is 1.176. So we get... 8.48 meter. Alright. So now we have this one. As AD is 8.48. This one is also 8.48. Why? Because they are having the same angle here. So here we get 12 plus 
plus 12 plus 8.48 or you can just multiply this one by 2 plus this one by 2 then you get 40.96 meter B, the area of the floor of the swimming pool in meter. So, area of swimming pool, you can here, you can get this one, this one, and these two triangle. So, B, the area of swimming pool is equal to area of sector, okay lah, A, area of sector AED plus area of sector BEC plus this one area of triangle. AEB AEB plus area of triangle DEC So you can see this one is equal to this one and this one is equal to this one So you just find the area of sector multiply by 2 and this one multiply by 2 Because you see here this one is equal to this one and this one is equal to this one So to calculate the area of sector area of AED is equal to half R square Theta. So we need to know what is the radius and what is the theta. So we calculated it before. So the radius is AE, which is this one is half. R is 7.211 square and theta is 1.176 radian. So we get 30.575 meter. So here we get area of AED is equal to 30.575. So now area of triangle. So you see here. So area of triangle is equal to half times. So half times this one AB is 12. And the height of the triangle is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So divided by 2. So here we get 24. So we know area of triangle is 24. So here area of the floor is equal to area of sector times 2. So we have 30.575 times 2 plus area of triangle times 2 because we have same area. So this is 24 times 2. So here we get so we get 109.15 meter square. So see the volume of the water needed to fill the swimming pool in meter. So volume needed to put, uh, to fill in the swimming pool. See so volume is equal to area time height. So area we have 109.15. So the height of the swimming pool is 1.5 meter. So it's given in the question. So here we get 163.725 meter cube.